Hey guys, I'm Ryan French, and today we're taking a quick look at the Starlink Mini, a portable version of the Starlink dish that we all know and love, but this one's a bit special. It's invite only for now, and invites are only going out to early adopters of the original Starlink dish. First, let's talk about the size. It's about the size of a laptop, which makes it incredibly easy to slip into a backpack, throw in the car, or just take wherever. The Starlink Mini costs $30 a month, which is pretty affordable when you compare it to the competition. The Iridium Executive Go satellite hotspot has a $435 a month service plan for just 250 megabytes of data. The Starlink Mini Roam plan gives you 50 gigabytes of data for that $30. Then if you do hit that 50 gigabyte limit, it's just a dollar per gigabyte after that. Just as you'd expect from any other hotspot device, the Mini has a Wi-Fi router built in this time. That way, all you need is a power outlet and you have instant internet wherever you have a clear view of the sky. Although if you do want to use your own router, it still has an ethernet port on the back and a pole mount in the box so you could mount this way up on top of a tree or something to get around some obstructions. Size isn't the only thing that they focused on reducing with the Starlink Mini. It now uses way less power. It comes with an AC adapter in the box and has a standard DC barrel connector on the back. I got a USB-C to 5.5 millimeter DC barrel jack converter on Amazon, and I'm seeing about 25 to 30 watts of power draw. Okay, let's talk about performance. I've been testing this little guy for a bit, and it's impressive. Starlink claims you'll get about 100 megabits per second, but I've regularly been seeing speeds exceed that, with tests showing at around 120 to even 150 megabits per second. Even in situations where you have lots of obstructions of the sky, like here I put the dish inside the car, I'm still getting 10 to 20 megabits per second. Plenty of speed for watching a YouTube video or even making a FaceTime call. So is the Starlink Mini worth it? If you find yourself outside of cell service frequently and you get that invite, absolutely. For $30 a month, Starlink delivers on the promise of portable high-speed internet everywhere. Even if you have decent internet, it's kind of nice having a backup option just in case. Anyway, that's it for this one. Let me know in the comments, are you excited for Starlink Mini or waiting for Gen 2? Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.